Hey guys, it's Joe again with another 3D printing tip video. I got a lot of questions about my smoothing pot that I use for smoothing my ABS prints. This is it, and uh, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it was, how it worked, what it did, and how I used it and everything. It is just a, a steamer pot that I bought at a local department store. I paid 30, 40 bucks for it, and it's been a great investment because it makes it so easy to do smoothing. Now, I do most of my prints in ABS, so I use acetone. Sorry about the noise. I use acetone uh, for my smoothing, but I hear that if you're doing PLA or uh, PET Plus or just about anything else, there's this stuff called MEC Plus Substitute that it's uh, ethanol acetone or something like that. I don't know. You just want to put a little bit in here, no more than two or three tablespoons. Now the thing is, acetone already wants to be at room, or already wants to be a vapor, uh, just about at room temperature. I've got, uh, I've got these things that I'm trying to vapor smooth. They are the same hooks that I'm using for hanging up my filament. I just put these here and I put my filament so it's easy to change out my filament and I want to make more of them. But I want to vapor smooth them so that they're less likely to break. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put those in there. Now acetone already wants to be at room temperature, or uh, a vapor at room temperature. So you don't need much of it and you don't need to heat it up much. Although I think I maybe put in a little bit too lit. Nah, it's fine. A couple tablespoons is all you need to fill up the area. You put the lid on, nice glass lid so you can watch the process. Turn it on to the lowest setting that's warm and set it for... Oh, about two minutes. I just use a stopwatch. You could use a kitchen timer if you want. They're a buck or two. I got this one for nothing, so I use it. And just for two minutes, you let the heat go. Actually, you don't even let, need to let the heat go for a full two minutes. After just a couple of seconds, all of that acetone is going to vaporize and it's going to fill the, the uh, area. Uh, these things have a magnetic connection, so they're real delicate, which is good. Um, but I can already I can already see looking at my print it's starting to get glossy and things let's see if I can see if I can bring you over here to see uh, see that it's it's already starting Wow terrible angle you guys welcome to vertigo cam okay my camera flipped so let's see I'm never gonna do this again I'm never gonna do this again okay so there we go they're, they're vaporizing and you can see it and they're starting to get a little bit glossy down at the bottom and that glossiness is going to work its way up as the rest of the acetone uh, works its way up. I have made a terrible mistake that I need to adjust very, very, very quickly. Get my hand out of the way, Joe. Okay. Well, that is something that I will never, ever do again. I'm very sorry. Oh. Okay. And the smell. Uh, I checked acetone vapor is not going to kill you. It's not going to shorten your life or anything. It might cause short-term memory damage, but I've, I've never experienced that. What were we talking about? Oh, uh, vaporizing objects in acetone. So that's it. Just let it go for about two minutes. I find that anything more than about two minutes is usually a waste. Although in this case, I might let it go for a little bit longer because these are very tall objects. And I want the whole thing to get vaporized. So I kind of, woo. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take these out and flip them over. Uh, you can see already this is nice and glossy and juicy and everything uh, with the light behind it. Maybe you can't see that as well. Be careful because you will get fingerprints on it and you don't necessarily want to do that. That was not good. Got it all over each other. That's all right. Put the bottom in. Let those guys cook for just a little while. Those acetone vapors. Make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated room. I shouldn't have to say that. Your printer should be in a well-ventilated area. I don't care if you're using PLA and it smells like cotton candy. Ventilate. Always ventilate. So that's all there is to it to use in the vapor pot smoother. Just, just get yourself a cheap uh, uh, pot, a steamer pot with the basket. Now I have found a problem with this particular basket that the prints for some reason seem to stick to it and I don't know why and like I pull it up and this strange coating is sitting on the print oh oh my lid has just got nice and foggy which means the whole thing is full of vapor and that's fantastic 
Um, I don't know what that thing, and I, and I find that the more prints I use, the less of them. So I just got to get whatever the heck coating is on there off. And so there will be a couple of bum prints, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, now that it's all filled with vapor, I'm going to turn it off and just let the, the heat do it. Um, it's a little bit cold out in, out in Joe's 3D workbench uh, because weather. It's less cold here than it is in other parts of the world, so thank goodness for that. So, you know, a vapor pot like this is really good. And this is way better than my previous solution of a mason jar and a candle warmer, which yeah, it just didn't work very well. It worked, but it didn't work very well. So we've been vaporizing for three and a half minutes. Uh, that is probably enough for now. So I will go ahead. Oh, look at how smooth those parts are. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. Uh, look, beautiful parts. Now you can pull it out. You don't have to touch them while they're sticky. Just pull out the, the jar and let them air cool in the area. Um, and then you're, you're ready to do it again. That's beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Nice, smooth, vaporized parts. Hey, now it's time for some housekeeping. Since my last video, I hit 100 subscribers. In fact, at the time of this recording, I'm at 115. I am so excited. And in fact, I contacted my 100th subscriber, Mr. Uh, Bassian Dormoff. And I said, hey, you're my 100th subscriber. I want to send you a very special gift. And he said, sure, here's my address. And had I paid closer attention to the fact that he was in Deutschland, I might have been a little bit hesitant to do this. But you know what? I said I was going to send him something, so I'm going to send him this. Okay, ignore that that happened. A chess bot. The same, not the same chess bot. Obviously, I printed this one differently. But, you know, this is the robot chess set that won me the 3D printer. And I'm going to send this one to Bastion. And if you want the other half, you're going to have to print it yourself. So into this envelope it goes, and off to the post office I go to mail that to you. Maybe I'll throw in a business card as well. Because I have business cards now. I don't know why I need business cards. So there we go. That'll be a trip to the mail. You know, also for the hundred, my, my getting 100 subscribers, and I need to thank everybody else as well. Uh, Shirley Roy, who saw me, I think, either on Reddit or on Google Plus and subscribed to me. Thank you. That's cool. I love it. Uh, there's DJC653, uh, there's Hogger301, there's Ghoul Tech, Jake C, uh, Mark Mark, not Marky Mark, just Mark Mark. Sounds like a dog, actually. Uh, Roger, Roger Egberg, who I know I've seen around on Google Groups or uh, G Plus or somewhere. Uh, Wolf555 Hound and Hildas. I, you know, I really should make this bigger for myself. I'm making life difficult on myself, but that's all right. My fading vision. Uh, Hildas Glanopolius, proof that I do not rehearse this ahead of time. Lackland Anderson, Brumza, Roman Heglin, and Chris Moore. Oh, wait, no, there's more after that. Uh, Wes Wartman, Kuru Valthonadil, I'm pretty sure you made up that name just to trip me up, thank you very much. I'm just kidding, if that's your real name, I... <clears throat> uh, Marcus Britland, John Baher, Baher, thank you guys, thank you guys, you are the wind beneath my wings, you give me the reason to do this. I think I'm going to stop reading all of the names after this, but... For the 500 subscriber, if I keep making these videos, I figure I'll get to 500 subscribers. I'm going to have to do something big. But what I'm going to do in this video, uh, because I got to 100 this week, in addition to sending something to Bastion in Germany, I'm going to send another random viewer who can find the secret hidden annotation. I've been playing with annotations uh uh, in the video. So at this time, you can click on this side of the video and go to the next video when that's recorded and on this side of the video. Did I get that backwards? Previous is one way and next is the other way and you just click at the end of my videos. I'll have those previous and next and also wherever Simon is in the videos, click him to subscribe. But then there's going to be a, another hidden annotation in this video at some point. Probably wasn't very long. You have to be really careful and watch for it. 
and then if you click it it will take you to a special video put a comment on there saying hey I found it if you are the first person to put a comment but do not say first because I will disallow that entry but if you are the first person to leave a comment on that hidden video I will send you let's see uh, Here's a couple of prints that I've just been sitting around. Here's one of the smooth prints I did when I was playing with smooth prints. It's a it's a guy fox ring printed in red and black, kind of demony looking. It's about size six or eight, but it's been clipped so that you can fit it on. You know, you can stretch it and fit it on any size finger that you want. So there's a cool smooth print. This print was also smooth, but not in the same way. Uh, this is the pick of destiny. So if you're a guitar player, this should be very exciting. And also, I'm going to give you this little golden idol head that Simon has been holding for us the whole time. I will put all of those in an envelope uh, to the person who who leaves a comment on the video and uh, sends me a message with their address and I will send these all to you. I don't care. International, I'll send it to you. I don't even care. Um, but hopefully you'll be domestic. Either way, I don't care. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You know, I, I hate to say this because it sounds so kitschy, but share it. Uh, I don't have, I'm on Reddit, I'm on Google+, Plus, I'm on all sorts of things, but I'm not on everything, and I'm not on your Facebook. And if this video has helped you to make cool stuff, and I hope this video helps somebody to make cool stuff, then let people know, hey, there's this dude making videos. Check him out. Also, if you have any suggestions for making my videos better, don't be quiet. Let me know. Leave a comment. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you next time.